Hey there, it's Ted here. I'm in the engine lab and I got an online question about um, an old carbureted engine with a fuel pump on it and uh, he's trying to convert over to the electrical version. I have a video online of that, how to convert a mechanical pump to an electric on, uh, on engine pump. And then uh, he had a question about the third hose. So let's look at uh, this carbureted engine which does have this and this is an important thing if you do have a carbureted engine with a mechanical fuel pump that third hose is very very important so let me just show you and discuss this okay so this is a three liter gas carbureted engine all right and the fuel pump here in question all right right down here and we have our fuel line out going up to the carburetor and our fuel line coming in coming from the fuel water separator Right, and basically what you have is you have two steel lines, and this is actually Cupernickel. We've changed this over to Cupernickel, have students actually learn how to bend and flare fuel lines. And this is the third hose I believe he's talking about. Now, this is a opaque, kind of yellowish orange hose, and this one is probably from the early 80s, this engine that we've had here for years. Um, and it basically, this is a plastic kind of hose, which is usually soft and supple and it's hard and brittle now which means that inside this pump the diaphragm has started to fail and it's allowing the alcohol related fuel to uh, come up into this chamber which would ultimately go into the engine but first that fuel is going to come up here and it's going to be drawn around the other side and it gets drawn into the carburetor so if you ever do do a conversion over to an electric fuel pump you just remove this hose get a rubber cap, one of the, you can get one at any auto parts stores. So just take a piece of this hose with you to any auto parts store and you can find a rubber cap that'll fit on there, it just caps that line. That's because electric fuel pumps are not vented. So if you do do the conversion, that is what that line is, that, that third hose he was questioning on. So um, this one being hard, I would also, being in the bilge of a boat a lot of times, you may not think about this, but periodically check this hose just reach down here and feel it and make sure it's not split or broken off. If it is, that if that hose fails, then gasoline can leak out into the bilge of the boat and you don't want that. So um, I would say, you know, every year, at least in the spring, maybe during the summer, once or twice, stick your hand under here and feel that hose. And it also, if it starts to get hard, like this one is, it's not soft anymore, it needs to be changed. And you can change that to rubber hose. But also, if any alcohol fuel related, you know, alcohol in the fuel gets in here, that's going to deteriorate that, which means usually this pump is, is no good anymore. Um, these pumps are really becoming NLA, no longer available, so you really need to start, you know, thinking about changing over to an electric pump to block off plate. So, so I hope this helps um, with the idea of, you know, why you need to pay attention to that hose and also change that hose over to um, you know, something more like type A115 quarter inch fuel line will work if that hose has started to deteriorate like this one. So um, take a look at that. Make sure you pay attention to it. If you like the video, hit that subscribe and like button and I'll see you in the next one.